Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to pass you over to Eric and he's going to very tell you in about 60 seconds what this is all about and why he's gone on this mission to raise money. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, people don't know, I'm 61 years of age, I was diagnosed with diabetes uh, type 2 a year and a half ago, uh, so I decided to lose the weight uh, and maybe come back like 23 years out of the ring for Diabetes UK. Uh, I'd like to thank all my friends for coming up and supporting me. A lot of people come to support me today, I really appreciate it. We raise the money for Diabetes UK. Um, and before the fight, I'd just like to say I've dedicated this fight to a good friend of mine, young Vinnie Mitchell, who unfortunately died in a car crash the other day. Um, so I don't know if we're going to do the 10 bells quickly. Can we, we, we do this here, we're going to have a little 10 bells for him. Give respect for young Vinnie Mitchell, who unfortunately died in a car the bike crash on Monday. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the first opponent that Eric is going to face is an MBE. Former British champion, he's three times, three times weight world champion, having held the IBF flyweight title from 1988 to 89, the WBO bantamweight from 91 to 92, and the WBO junior featherweight title from 1992 to 93. British flyweight champion, this guy, the stats go on and on. British and European champion, an absolute icon and a respected member of the British boxing community. Please welcome into the ring, Jim McKenzie. <laughs> WBO belt, that is the real deal, WBO belt. Now before we go into this Duke, I'm sure you'd agree with me what I'm gonna do now for young Vinny, Vinny Mitchell. We're gonna do 10 bells for him, and then you guys are gonna go at it. Are you all right with that? Ladies and gentlemen, the utmost silence for a very, very special young fighter who sadly lost his life a few days ago. We mark his passing with a traditional boxing 10 bells. On the count of three, one, two, three, shh, shh. Ladies and gentlemen, this is for Vinnie Mitchell. Ladies and gentlemen, Vinnie Mitchell. Our first fight of Eric Guy facing pound for pound, one of the most powerful little men ever to step foot in a ring. And it's great to have him here, Jim McKenzie versus Eric Guy, your referee. Okay, seconds out. Round one. Come on, let's make some noise for these two boys. Come on.
specialist, this man. He can prop a bang. So, ladies and gentlemen, we now go to our second round of boxing. Former world champion, Glenn Catley, facing. Our Eric, give it up now for Glenn Catley. Here we go. of all times. But the one thing that I absolutely admire about this man is an old saying, if at first you don't succeed, try, try, try again. Johnny kept on going until he got that belt, right? Most fighters would have given up, but Johnny Nelson didn't. And you've got to have respect for people that fail and come back, fail and go, no, I'm gonna win the belt. Give it up for a dear friend of mine, Johnny Nelson! <laughs> John, big up to you. Thank you so much for being a part of this tonight. Raising money for Diabetes UK. Here we go with our third round of boxing. I'm getting out of the way because the fireworks get bigger the bigger these boys get. Here we go with our third round of boxing. Are you ready? Mike Tyson in the ring. 
not only as a boxer, but he's also been involved in MMA. He's fought mixed martial arts as well. But, um, and also faced Vitaly Klitschko and John Ruiz, former world champions. Let's bring him into the ring. A gentle giant now, thank God. Please welcome Julius Francis! <laughs> Freaking ring is going like that. Ladies and gentlemen, he's a great guy and he's given up his time tonight for this worthy cause as well. Make some noise for Julius Francis, come on! Woo! Eric, good luck, mate. So I'll get him out. Don't forget there's a young lady by the name of Shelby Lee in here tonight. A big up to her, she's a British champion. Um, it's great to have her here. In a moment, we'll get all the fighters in if Eric gets through this last round. Ready? Champions, if you wouldn't mind giving us five, ten minutes of your time 